Hello everyone, today I'll give you a quick overview of the facade design pattern. I'll provide you with a quick background explaining what the facade design pattern is and show you a quick example of the facade in action. Say you have a client application that uses several classes that may be in different packages. The first problem is that the development team needs to know how to implement all the functionality in these classes. Not only that, you have to, to, to create several um, instances of, of these classes, several objects, to, to use them all, and especially if they're they're all required, all they are required, of course, and uh, you could end up with with multiple objects having to instantiate multiple objects. So, what if there's a, a way to group all those the, the, the useful functionality, all the, the the objects that you need in one place? And what if there was a way to not only not only to create a bunch of objects, but just to create one object? For this and uh, that's what the facade is uh, that's where the facade is useful adding a facade to create all the, all the required objects for, for your client application um, makes it simpler for, for for the team to, to, to work with because they know uh, um, they have all the functionality in one place it's it's easier for them to learn the functionality not only that you only have to create one instance of your facade uh, object to use the functionality that you need, the functionality in the other areas, in the, the other classes here in white in, 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 this, uh, in this graph. So um, let's take a look at an example. Okay, so I have a, a small travel application here where I could book a flight, a hotel room, and a, a, a car rental. Uh, it's just very small, uh, only three different, four classes. One is the main class and three are the classes for the objects that I want to create here for this example. Uh, the, the, uh, the main class, which is this class here, has the, the, the main uh, um, function, has, uh, uh, it, it represents my, my, uh, my client application. And it creates an instance of the flight, an instance of hotel, and an instance of the car rental. Uh, to use the functionality for, for, for the booking for the flight, booking for the hotel room, and booking for the car rental. Um, the, uh, if I run this application right here, it will give me the information about my trip down here, about the not only the, 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 the flight information, but the hotel information, the car rental information okay, for my booking. Um, if I, now, if I have, let's say, th this is a small example, but let's say instead of having just four classes let, or only three classes to choose to use, to, to use for, for my, my client application, what if I had dozens of, of, of classes, um, then I would have to create, you know, dozens of, of, uh, of objects to use the functionality that I that I'm required to use for, for my application. Um, if I now if I use a facade, I would only use, have to create one object to use all the required information, all the required function functionality that I need to use for, for my application. So I'll, I'll show you the example now. So I'm going to open up fa the facade that I created, this trip facade class. And the trip facade class has uh, um, has the, uh, the the flight, the hotel, and car rental objects uh, created here. So there's an instance of the three here, and I cr and this facade also has uh, um, a functionality. It has uh, uh, methods to book a trip, book a flight, book a room, book a car, and so on. Um, all the, the functionality needed for, for my, my client application. And it's all in this one place here to use instead of all over the place having to look for them in different classes. Now, um, my, my, what I have to do is just implement this, uh, this facade in my, in my application. Um, right now, the application is just using the, like we said earlier, it's using the, the three different three different objects for the three different classes that we have. So now let's not use them. Let's uh, comment them out. All right. 
and we have to comment this out here. This is the action taken for the for the booking, and this is the output. So I'm gonna stop. So here, so now I got rid of my old implementation, and now I'm going to use my facade implementation, which includes creating a, a facade object, and that's the only object created for this application. I don't need to create objects for the flight, hotel, and car rental anymore because they're implemented in the facade and there are methods here to use that we're taking from, they're actually using these different classes here, these three different classes, the flight, hotel, and car rental. And now I could use one of the, uh, the functions within my, my trip facade, which is I'm just going to use a book a trip, which will book, put all the pass all the information for my trip, and just book all three the the the, the flight, the hotel, and the car rental in one in, in 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 one step. And I'll just put the output here. I'll just put the output. Just have one output instead of the three to output all three different two string methods. For all the three different classes, I only output the one two string method for the trip for the trip facade. So let's run this, and there it is. It gives the, the same information as before, just a different implementation, a cleaner implementation, and uh, fewer fewer lines of fewer lines of code here too. And that's that's it. That's a uh, that's uh, an example of use of the facade. I hope it was uh, clear and easy to understand. Thank you very much.